Hello Evergreen Traders and Investors, this is JC De Guzman. Welcome to Equitox episode number 20. And uh, today our topic is about petrol, uh, Felix Mining Corporation or PX for short. And I just want to give you a quick rundown of what transpired today. Where are we on, Phil, on, on uh, Felix? Do we see confirmed by signal? Are we better off holding our position, cutting our losses, or staying on a wait and see mode? So let's find out one data at a time, one analysis at a time. So as you may already know, I am very focused on technical analysis. So today PX closed at 3.39 pesos per share. It went up by 3.35%. Its uh, total turnover value is not that significant. In fact, it did not cross the seven-digit mark when it comes to TTV. Uh, to be specific, it only registered a total turnover value worth 870,990 pesos only. And uh, foreign fundies did not register uh, uh, a participation from uh, today. Uh, nonetheless, they are net sellers here to date, but I don't think we have to be worried about that because their participation is not that sizable. Uh, PXS support is near 3.20 resistance is near 3.50 as you can see on this chart all you have to do is to click on the chart so that you will see a bigger uh, version of this picture so these horizontal lines here are the support and resistance levels of px and here at F here at equilist analytics we have our own trade and volume distribution chart with a view up as you can see here as well on on your screen the last price of a PX is higher than the VWAP. And uh, unluckily, but let me check here. Uh, yep, the dominant range. We can see that the uh, momentum power indicator of a PX is still bullish. So with the, ten, with the bullish 10 SMACD, let me confirm is that yeah it with the with the bullish 10 SMACD and a bullish momentum power indicator that makes a confirmed buy signal for PX. Now let's take a look at the true market sentiment. For today, PX got a bearish true market sentiment, but for the month to date, November, it got a bullish true market sentiment. So we are using this true market sentiment chart at Equilist Analytics for us to identify what the top 10 players of the stock are thinking about that stock. We want to know if they have the huge interest to continue buying so as to initiate a, a, a sustainable rally on the stock because if it's a red candlestick and it's a bearish true market sentiment, that means that the descent in price is more than likely to continue. You will know more about the nitty-gritty of this true market sentiment chart uh, on our online stock market course or online stock market seminar, which you will find. If you'd like to know the details, just head over to our website at www.equilis.com and then click this course menu that you see on top, that you see on my screen, on your screen right now. To know the details click this all right here here's the best part recommendation what do what do i recommend if you have px so assuming your trailing stop is still intact it's a different story if you don't know what a trailing stop is okay now if your trailing stop is still intact i suggest that you can go ahead and do a top up within the dominant range well, that is if you would like to top up, if your buying power allows it. If you don't want to top up, it's okay. Just hold your position. Just And then, just keep on doing an upward adjustment on your trailing stop every time the, the prevailing price goes higher. Again, you will know more about these things that I'm mumbling about in our online stock market course. I call it the evergreen strategy in trading and investing in the Philippine stock market. Yes, these strategies apply not only in short-term trading, but also in long-term investing. But that's my advice. If you happen to have PX in your portfolio, and it so happens that 
it so happens that your trailing stop is still intact. You can go ahead, go ahead and top up within the dominant range, not at any price, only within the dominant range. And if and only if PX starts at a price lower or higher than the dominant range that you see right here, this one, then I strongly recommend that you post a request of our latest analysis and recommendation on PX in our private clients forum. Well, that is if you're a subscriber of Equilist Analytics, of course. Now, what about for those who don't have PX yet? but are planning to, to buy PX. What's my recommendation? You can also do a test buy within the dominant range that I have mentioned right here, which is between 3.36 and 3.39. But it's best that you calculate your reward to risk ratio. And speaking of which, I have some calculators for you. You can access them for free on our website. Go to resources, tools, and then you will find support and assistance calculator, reward to risk ratio calculator, trailing stop, trading fees, etc, etc. Okay? Now, if you would like to get our assistance, let's say you'd like to get in touch with me and you'd like to know my recommendation and analysis uh, for a particular stock that is either in your portfolio already or not yet, then you can subscribe to our subscription service. And if, again, if you'd like to know more about my overall strategy, my evergreen strategy in trading and investing developed in stock market, then you can go ahead, click on course, and then read everything on that page. I have, uh, let's check, let's check this out. So I have written on this page, everything that you will learn from this video on demand course, this online stock market seminar, this online stock market course. There are six lessons. So here, let me just show you on my screen. So I have written everything that you need to know here. And I think you must learn this so that, like me, you can also make a trade and investment decision on your own, an independent and profitable trade investment decision. Okay? So again, my name is Jay-Z De Guzman, and you've just heard my analysis for PX, which is Equitox episode number 20.